like own my own cars, I have to own my own house. We're almost almost to a fault where I didn't like with Josh she felt like I never needed him enough. You know what I mean? And he wanted more of that. And I was like background why he needed he needed me to meet him more. He's not his man. I mean the man in his life. He no, he always thought that he was like he was like well he always thought for me he always thought like for a woman like that he never thought like he always said like Erica I always think I'm your boyfriend but I never think I'm your man he's like I always think of of you as like you're my girlfriend but I never think of of you as like my woman you know like do you know know what that means don't quite no I can't say that I follow okay he he means like like yeah, I'm his girlfriend, but like I don't need him to be like my man. Oh, and he wanted that. And he wanted me to need him more than I needed him. And the thing is, I didn't, and I don't. You know what's so weird is that that's what's attractive to me. There's so many more girls out there, right? That are more like what he's looking for. I know exactly, and that was why, we, even though we loved each other, we, we would never met. We were not a match. Because I didn't need him, and he needed me to need him more, and that was that was our struggle. That was all. It's always been our struggle. And it's like you, you wonder why I'm 36 and single because I never needed anyone. I never needed him. I have my own house. I own three cars. I'm like, I don't need anyone. He needed me to need him more. But, but then I always felt like there was always someone out there that could appreciate the fact that I didn't need them, you know, he wasn't it, he couldn't understand the fact that he was like, how could you like, like he left, he left to live in, to live in Miami in December, and I was like, yeah, well, you know, I'm going to do my job, I'm like, and I'll probably end in like, March, he wanted me to just like, drop everything, rent out my place and just like move to Miami to be with him. You and I was like, there and you're yeah, and I was like, mm, it's not going to happen. You know, I'm, did he have, what was his par- parental situation? Did he have, you know, like, where would he get that more? Um, well, his what mom, I'm wondering is that, mom, where would, what would be his, his mom, mom died when he was 13. Oh, how? Yeah. Um, unknown causes and sleep. I know, kind of odd. Not cancer, not... I don't know. Die. We don't know. Unless, I mean, he hasn't told me. Maybe he knows, but he didn't ever tell me. So he's close with his father? No. He's kind of an orphan. What happened with his dad? His dad's around, but not... He didn't bond with him when the mother... Not, no. Mm Yeah. Well, that's very interesting because that's why he is. Right. Yeah. Where does you know what the fact the fact is? I always say this and I said, you know, there's a tremendous amount of, and I'm very you know for a woman I'm very pragmatic and I know like I think I've said this before to you. I'm very logical. I maybe I said it to Will. I said you know what because when was the whole Danielle thing? I said you know what. I'm very emotional because I'm a woman, but I'm very pragmatic and I'm very logical for a woman. And I know, like, what the right thing is to do. And I was, you know, I always said to him, it's kind of like, I, I, I always thought that there was a tremendous amount of love between us, but that we were just not a match. And when did you figure that out? kind of late in the game. I mean, I think that I always felt like, you know, like the Beatles song, you know, you know, all you need is love kind of thing. And the fact is, is that there's so much more to life than, than just that. At any point in the five years, did you, there's five years, right? Yep. At any point in the five years, did you feel like you were close? Or did you want that? Um. The funny thing is, is that, you know, when you're in a relationship, it's often a mirror. 
and I think we both had so much fear about each other that we kind of felt like neither one of us was ready for that. Like, I always said, like, that's what I was waiting for, and he was like, well, I need you to do this before I do that. The honest to God truth, and, you know, may God strike me down, is that neither one of us. Both of us knew that we loved each other, but that we were just not a match. I mean, like, January, February, and March, I need to get you to dinner. I mean, would you have? The thing is, probably not. You would have said no? I probably would have said no. Because you knew how needy he was. No, because I knew that that when he got up and moved to Miami, I wasn't like, oh my god, I gotta move, I gotta move he, there too. When did he tell you that? December. He moved to Miami in December. Uh, well, and the, the fact is that I was like, I let's say job. October, November. Like, did it hit? Did it I didn't hit think you like it was a right. brick wall? He was like, I'm moving to Miami. Um, I was almost kind of like, okay, go ahead. Um, you know, it wasn't like I was, I was like. Oh my God! You know we should get married, or it was that was the sign. I, 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 you know, it's like I always prayed. I was like, oh, I need a sign to kind of like tell me if this is right, or and that was the sign that I was looking for. The sign was that he moved, and I didn't say I need to be with you. The sign was is that I'm staying in LA, and it's my home, and my family's here, and it's where my job is. Have a good life. And I think he sensed that, and that's when he was like, called me a name, and was like, this isn't right. And I was like, you're right. It's a pretty quick breakup. A week. Not even. It's a day. A day. He literally, I mean, he called, okay. I mean, this is going to sound really weird, but you were definitely... It wasn't like you were directly involved, but you were indirectly involved, only because you were the, the only person that I could ever, I was ever attracted to besides Josh. I know that's gonna sound probably really weird to you right now, and I don't, I'm not, like not trying to like pressure on you or like make you feel weird. I know, I, but it um, I can honestly say that when you sat down at my table that first time with Heather. I literally said to myself, oh my god, like, like, uh oh, like literally I went, I went, uh oh, like, how could I be so intrigued by this person, I want him to stay at the table, I want to talk to him, I want to, like, get to know him, and I'm with someone, and, and then I literally said to myself, well, this could be normal, but, you know, like, literally talked myself out of it, and, um, when he called me, to break up with me, it was kind of okay, because I knew that, this is sound really weird, but you were literally the first person I called. When we did what? When... Um, we didn't talk that much. No, we didn't, but I called you and I was just kind of like, just to say hi, just to like... Because oh. you're a big texter. I know, I think I text, maybe I did You text. are a big texter. <laughs> It wasn't like, you know, I knew that, you know, there could be something between us, but it was more like an intrigue, you know? Because it never... Let me ask you this. Were you really sick the night that I invited you over to my place? I really was not feeling... You were. I honestly can tell you that I was not feeling well that night. I was, That was not a blow-off at all. And I was like, I felt so bad. I my was like, friends were like, whoa, <laughs> dude, who is this chick? The whole it layout, wasn't the whole at spring. all, and I felt so bad. You were like, I made dinner. I was like, I felt so bad. It really wasn't. It wasn't a bluff at all. I mean, I, there's nothing to gain here for me at all. I mean, this game is over. Of course, you know. I mean, no. I'm being completely and totally honest with you. Giving you hard time. I'm giving you a hard time. I mean, honestly, I can tell you how I felt. No, no, I, it's, it was just. We were talking about how you felt it, right? Me and my friends, or my friends, you know, noticed that I was different because they were like, Dude, what's with the fucking spread? Because I had to call them down and be like, let's foul this and go out. <laughs> Sorry. 
I know you need to. You're like, wow. Oh, it's red and that's mild as hell. I'm sorry. They don't know that I'm such a kitchen person that I can clean. <laughs> You're like, I made, wait, cook. you made like fish for me. I cooked and oh, yeah, it was so fucking crazy. We both laid ourselves out.